Until now, we left out one space, which is the view space, or also called the eye space, from our vertex transform. So we went directly from world space using a projection matrix to the clip space. So one step, which is the view matrix, which puts uh, the vertices from world space to view space, we left out. And in this video, we are going to create the view matrix, which is a simple view matrix, which will be a translation matrix. And uh, in the second part of the video, we are going to create the so-called look at matrix. So let's go to PyCharm and to actually create the view matrix here, I'm going to create another uniform uh, of type matrix four, and this will be the view. And here I'm going to multiply the model by the view. So it is, here is the local space, here is the world space, here is the view space, and here is the uh, clipping space. And now let's create this view matrix. So here, uh, here I'm going to create the view matrix. Uh, view, and this will be, as I said, just a translation matrix. So I'm just going to copy this from the translation and I'm going to put it at 0, 0, 0. So the view will be at position 0, 0, 0. And let's get out also the uh, view uh, uniform location from the shader. So I'm going to duplicate this line and uh, rename it to view underscore location and we named it view. And let's upload this matrix to the view location using the GL Uniform Matrix 4FV. So let's copy the view location here and let's copy the view matrix here. And now we should have a view. Although I just removed the rotation from this scene, uh, although it looks um, as before, but now we have much more control over our uh, where is our view or eye or camera is um, in the scene. So if I move, let's say the view one unit to the right, it will move the scene or the cube to the right. Although technically it should move it, the whole scene, it should move the, to the left because I'm going to show you something in Blender. So I created this very simple scene in Blender. We have just a camera, which, uh, which is also a view and the cube. So if I go to the camera and I'm starting start to, I'm starting to uh, move the camera, let's say to the, left uh, i mean okay now it is selected so when i start to move the camera to the left as you can see the cube moves to the right and if i move the camera to right the cube moves to left so everything gets translated to the opposite direction so if i move the camera up the cube or the whole scene goes down if i move the camera down the whole scene goes up so everything as i said gets translated to the opposite direction so technically, here, when I want to move my move, uh, my uh, uh, view to right, I should put here negative one instead of one. So, uh, as I said, if you create a view matrix, especially if you want to move it in every frame in the application loop, you should always negate these values, so x and y and also the z-axis, to get a correct uh, view. It is not a bug, it is just how things work in 3D. So, and now let's create the so-called look at matrix, which is a much advanced version of the view matrix. I'm going to duplicate this line, or I'm just going to comment it out, and here I'm going to create a new view variable, and you can create the look at matrix using the period at matrix 44 that create uh, look at. And the look at function, which creates the, the view matrix takes three arguments, three vector, three types. So I'm just going to copy from here the peer that vector three and paste it three times here. So the first first um, argument to this function is the so-called, I'm going to add it here as a uh, comment, is an I. So where is our view positioned in the scene? So I space, I'm not, not the I space, but the I, I position. The next is a target, uh, target, so where our camera is looking at, and the up vector. 
the last argument. So this is the i. I'm going to position it to 0, 0, 0 for now. And this is the target where it is looking at. I'm going to also add it, uh, the target as 0, 0, 0. And the up vector is, I'm going to set it to y up. So uh, if I go back to Bender, and let's just move out. So the up vector defines and um, uh, what is an up? What is the up of, of the camera? So I defined it as y up. So x0, y1, and z0. And because now our i is set to 0, 0, 0, we should get a runtime error. As you can see, runtime warning, invalid value encountered in true divide. So we are dividing here by zero. So we should change the i position to something like, I don't know, let's move. I'm just going to translate the cube to the world center. So zero, 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 which is the world center. And I'm going to move the camera a little bit uh, back. So on the z-axis, three units. Okay. And now let's change also them. And now, as you can see, as I as I change this to three, uh, we don't have that uh, runtime um, zero division error in our console. So let's move also the camera a little bit to the right. Let's say for one unit. And as you can see now, we are seeing our cube from from this angle. And if you want to know more about this look at function, I'm going to add one link to the video description which is this one for geartarian.com, geartarian.com, uh, breakdown of the look at function in OpenGL, which is a very interesting uh, reading. I suggest you to read through it. And as you can see here, the look at function was originally part of the GL utility library or GLU, an uh, utility library for OpenGL that is now outdated. And here he also creates, uh, where it is, the look at matrix. As you can see, it has vector free i, vector free at or target, and vector free up. So from now on, I'm probably going to use this look at function instead of just a simple trans, uh, translation matrix for the view. So if you want to, let's say, rotate the view around this cube, you can do this by I uh, have here uh, some code. I'm just going to copy it and paste it after the GL clear color. So I also need to import mat. So import mat. And so I'm going to create a camera X, which will be mat that sign of GLFW that get time times 10, and a camera Z, which will be the mat that cosine of GLFW that get time by uh, multiplied by 10. And here, now in every frame, I'm going to create a new look at matrix using peer. And the uh, only thing which is going to change is the i position. So for x, I'm going to add the camera x. And uh, for y, I'm going to set it just a static value of 5. And for the z, I'm going to add it uh, camera z. And the target will be always just 0, 0, 0. So if we look at the center of the world where the cube is positioned, and the up vector will be always set to y1. And now, in every frame, I'm going to upload to the view location the uh, new view matrix. So technically, we can just comment this out, this line. I'm going to leave it here for you as a reference, and also comment out this GL uniform matrix for FV for the view. And now, if I run the program, as you can see, uh, it looks like the cube is rotating. Yes, technically, the cube is rotating, but uh, now the view rotates around the cube. But because, as I said, the view matrix is just a representation or an emulation of a camera, not a real camera. Technically, the cube rotates, not the view. But <laughs> yeah, it's hard to explain. So I'm just, I'm just absolutely recommend you to read through this. And also in the learnopengl.com. Uh, so when you go to the camera, you will find a very interesting and in-depth um, explanation of the camera and the view space. And I'm also going to add these two links in the video description.